Speaking of the roots, I think there is, in the, one of the most, I think, worrying developments in the aftermath of the attacks has been the, the willingness of a number of commentators, particularly on the left, to place the question of roots in the, uh, in the, in the concept of justice. You know, people have said that the reason for these attacks was that there is injustice, that, that Indian Muslims are economically disadvantaged in India, they have much lower educational uh, you know, qualifications, they have much higher unemployment rates, and then, of course, there is the great injustice of Kashmir, as, as, it, as, right. as the argument being. And that while those injustices exist, that is the thing from which these actions spring. And as our colleague Arundhati Roy wrote, the other night, um, as she ended her, her article, she said, uh, you have a very simple choice, justice or civil war, and you choose. There's, as, as Suketu said, this is the entire spectrum of possibility from A to B. Uh, <laughs> um, and the re I want to really take issue with this, because it's... I, um, uh, because, I mean, I think anyone who knows what I have written in my life knows that I am a, quite seriously concerned with the condition of Kashmir. And, and I think that the Indian authorities are culpable in the way in which they have treated uh, the ordinary people of Kashmir, but so are jesh e Muhammad and lashkar e mm -hmm. And you have the people of Kashmir caught between a rock and a hard place. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a kind of fanatic Islam arriving from Pakistan, which is not in keeping with the Sufistic Islam that, you, that is traditional in Kashmir. And, and so you have this Arabized Islam being forced upon people, on the one hand, at the, at the point of a gun. And on the other hand, you have Indian security forces treating all Kashmiris as if they're terrorists, um, and, and often very brutally. Yeah. You know, so, so that's there. But the point I want to make is, I do not believe that terrorists such as these, I do not believe that their project has anything to do with justice. Um, ask yourself the question that if the Kashmir problem were resolved tomorrow, if Israel and Palestine reached a lasting peace, do we believe that Al-Qaeda would disband? Do we believe that Lashkar-e Taiba and Jesh e Muhammad would put their guns down and beat them into plowshares? You know, and say we will now be farmers right. because um, our, our, our job is done. I mean, the point is, it's, it's laughable, right? And the point about that is that that is not their project. No. That's not their project. Their project is power. Right. Their project, this is a power grab by the most obscurantist, you know, revanchist, old fashioned, medievalist idea of modern culture an attempt to drag the world back into the Middle Ages at the point of modern weaponry. Mm.